What's going on YouTube? I'm here bringing you guys a video of an awesome product that I've been looking into and I've currently recently got sponsored by them and I just can't wait to share you guys the news and I'm going to try to be quick with this video. Um, this router is created for eSports gaming. It's not one of those gaming routers that you see mainstream, kind of like the Nighthawk where they mark it as gaming router and things like that, but it's mostly built for wireless gaming. There's really no features inside the router as you can tell right here on the left side that really support esports and call of duty so i'm going to show you guys all of my uh features that i have here and the reason why i i was looking into this product before you guys say oh you know you're just doing this because blah, blah blah no uh, anyone that knows i stopped streaming and uploading youtube videos because i've had recently an immense problems with my internet when i moved i moved recently and i stopped streaming i stopped uploading because every time i would stream my frames would drop to the point where i'm lagging in game and my stream was unbearable to watch every time i would upload for some reason, it would stop uploading and then it also randomly shut off my router in the middle of the night. Um, I've had a crazy amount of problems. I had the technician guy come out and I couldn't find a solution. So I was just asking people around on Twitter, like, you know, any routers that you know that can I can work with that can help stabilize my internet connection. And everyone, well, not everyone, everyone was kind of showing me the Nighthawk. Then I was, uh, you know, I looked into it and I saw that it was pretty much a ripoff. Um, you know, you're spending a lot of money for wireless gaming. We play wired, you know, I play wired connection. So wireless isn't something I'm looking into. Um, and then a few people show me this. Um, it's still not a very big router company. So, you know, it's like a diamond in the hay or as you'd say. And I just want to show you guys how awesome this thing is. Okay. All right. So first let's go to the host filtering. Lag is often caused by distance or by connecting players with bad connections. So for anyone that is like, oh, this might be a little bit too complicated. This is this IP right here is for the main hub of the router. So you put that in. That's not my personal IP. And it will take you to something like this. It gives you all the information you need, um, all the tweets and things like that. This has a forum for people who need tutorials. This has a tutorial on its own. Um, everything you click is really simple. You click this, bam, host filtering. You're going to figure out what is this. So I got my Xbox One uh, hooked up and my other Xbox One. Uh, I don't have two Xbox Ones. They're actually one. I could put this as PC, right? Um, and what this does right here, guys, this is like one of the coolest features. So if you guys are pub stars and rank play and all that, and you guys are trying to play a lot of rank play and not run into people who have bad hosts and bad internet, you can actually make it so you can only connect to people. You see this little blue bar right here? You see that? That's the United States. So if I'm right there, like I'm in Denver, I can make it so I can only connect to people in Denver if I really wanted to. It'd be hard to find a match. But I could do that and I could make it so it's only the West Coast and Central. I don't have to run into East Coast people. But if I don't mind the East Coast people, I can make it so I run into the East Coast people and then all the whole world. So right now I'm playing like this. So every time I play a pub or right play for warm up uh, for my situation, I get a good warm up. I don't run into a bad host and I four bar. And usually when I do this, if I say I put this down all the way down here, I usually will take the host. Right. People will be able to connect to me, but I won't be able to connect to them. So I'll take host. For my lobbies i don't do all that because um you know i don't really care about that i just want to have a good fun experience online so i put it on central and west coast okay and the ping assist um i'm pretty sure this is um how f so like if i want to connect to a host um it won't go over 50 ping so if the host gives me something over 50 ping it won't connect to it um so i now have it on 25 that's pretty fair um, so yeah, that's that. That's like the first thing I, I noticed with this router, and this is awesome feature for all your trick shotters, quick scopers who need you know really good internet and four bar or even host to get some of those gameplays. So this is one of the coolest feature, and um, there's a lot more things to it. I just wanted to show you guys the basics, so I don't hold you guys up here for that long. Now, so for me, my problem was for my internet, and I fixed it. So I can make my download cap and my upload cap, right? Because you know on Advanced Warfare there's a lot of lag compensation, right? So when I'm playing, I put this to 25%. So if my speed, let's say, is 30 download and 5 upload, if I take it down to 25%, it's not going to be 30 download anymore. It's going to be way less than that. Um, you know, I'm taking 75% away to get that lag compensation. So right now I have it 100%. So if I have it on 100, uh, 5 upload right, and I put it to 50%, it'll give me a 2.5 upload. So if I go lower, it'll give me one. And I've realized in this game, you want something really low that's consistent. You know, you want one upload and a 10 upload um, for 
for uh, your Xbox One. I don't know why, but that's how lag comp works in this game. That's why West Coast players are usually dominant is because West Coast doesn't have good internet and it rewards lag compensation players, kind of like Black Ops 2. Um, now, the host analysis, um, well, there's actually more in congestion control with device prioritization. I can make it so my Xbox One gets this amount of speed, my PC gets that, so for streaming, things like that. Um, now, host analysis. Okay, so every time I get into a game, right, it's going to show me who the host was. It's going to give me his, um, well, everything I need to know. Um, and if it's a bad host, I could just literally block it. So if you're playing, let's say, a two-bar on a host, right? You're playing a tournament or you're playing a GB match or you're just playing a pub and it's a two-bar host and it was a terrible host, you just couldn't play on it, you can literally block that host so you can never connect to it again. You'll never have to run into him in a pub. And overall, if you play him in a tournament, you could just say you can't connect to his host, give me a fair host, things like that. Um, this is a really good feature. I haven't really used it myself that much, but I know it can be used for a lot of people. A lot of uh, East Coast players have a lot of problems running into two to three bar West Coast players, and it's just a mess in advanced warfare. So, and it's the same for the West Coast players. You know, I'm West Coast. You know, sometimes I get an East Coast host or a Florida host, and it's just unbearable. You know, and this will make it so I literally won't be able to connect, and I'll have a fair, more better gameplay online. So it's more fair. Um, now the VPN is awesome. Um, I don't want to show my uh, the providers hide my ass you can make it so you get your server you get your username your password and this is for people who get booted a lot online if you get booted a lot online right um, you'll realize that it just gets old this VPN built into the router for esports you know there's not really routers like this and I'll put in my VPN so my connection to my Xbox one will have a VPN so if someone tries to hit me off they won't be able to do it. If I want my VPN to go to my PC, I can do that too. So I can, if I go on Skype, they can't get my IP on Skype. This is an awesome feature here for everyone that deals with DDoSers, host booters, and things like that. This is one of the things that I'm really, really proud to show you guys in this router. Um, let's get to the next one, network monitor. So um, basically, um, so I had a lot of internet problems. I had to figure out what's taking a lot of my bandwidth. By saying a lot about my upload. So this, let's say if I use uh, my internet and I have it up, right? Right now I'm not really doing much. I'm not streaming, I'm not uploading. This will show me exactly how much I'm using in my bandwidth, right? It'll tell me what's jumping, what's taking a lot. If I'm using a torrent, well, I don't use torrents, but uh, it'll show you. And in torrents, uh, the reason I bring that up is because it takes a lot of bandwidth, uh, even when it's sleeping. People don't know that. So um, it'll show me everything I needed to do to fix my internet. And I figured out it was... Uh, a lot of my stuff on my computer that needed to be um, uninstalled that was just taking sleeping bandwidth and things like that. Let's go to device manager. So right now I'm connected through a modem and router, uh, which is, um, okay, thank God I didn't show. Is it showing my IP? Hopefully not. Um, no, this is all my main hub. So these are my IPs. So right now I'm running on 30 and 5, right? Um, I'm running through a Comcast modem and router. Um, and people are like always asking me, well, if I get this router, will it work into my router? Yes, it will. So this basically shows how to do that, and it does it on its own. See, it says right here, um, in most cases, the NetDuma overruns this, okay, pretty much. Um, and it did for me. So, And if it doesn't for you, just go to your DMZ and your router settings, and you put in your uh, uh, this IP into the DMZ, and it makes the router, uh, this the NetDuma router, pretty much the main thing. Um, so in Device Manager, you go to Edit, right? Um, so right now 30 and 5. I can literally oops. Update bandwidth, blah blah blah. Okay, so it'll tell me what's been used. So right now I'm using my PC, it's wired, my Xbox One's dormant, right? Um I'll, we'll get back to this. I'll show you later. This is what really helped me out. Okay. Um hopefully it doesn't show my IP, and if it does, oh well. So I had to figure out what's going on with my internet. This will show you. Um, it takes a little bit, it takes a little while, but it's okay. Um, click for details on this. Uh, I took down my internet. So literally it takes down your internet for like a few few moments here and it re literally runs a test. It pings it, it pings it back, it checks your, checks your download, your upload. It does everything you need to know. So basically when your technician comes out, this is what he does. Okay, this is what he does. He, he puts in his little remote control into the cable and he figures out what's going on, what's making it spike. And this helped me a lot to fix my internet and just to figure out what I need to, what needs to get done. Um, this might take a little while, so I'm gonna try to 
uh, keep talking here. So the help tours, basically, um, I didn't need to take this. So it was pretty self-explanatory. But this, you click this, and it'll tell you exactly what each one does and what it does, um, you know, manually. Some people want to go into their manual settings and things like that. So this will show you the main hubs control. And then there's also a huge forum that NetDuma has from people who bought the NetDuma router and um, figured out. Okay, so now that this is done, my ping is good. It's not exceptional, okay? Which is something I've come to realize. Now my jitter is exceptional. That means it's great. Jitter basically means how much of a weak signal you have. So when you ping something, it'll come back. That shows you the speed. But it also, the jitter shows you how fast it pings back with no disruptions. So the jitter sometimes have disruptions. So you can have a 20 ping, but if you have five jitter, you'd have a 15 ping. So um, my spikes, okay, so I was having a lot of spikes. So I figured out I, when I first got it, it was like bad. Um, so I had spikes. Right now it's exceptional. And packet loss is really important, guys. Some people get packet loss. And when you have packet loss, it's actually not your problem. You got to call your internet provider and they have to fix it. And if they can't, they have to give you a huge discount because it's on their end. And packet loss is one of the main things that make you skip online, things like that. So if we go to show details, so right now you'll see my average is about, let's say 24 ping, right? It sends everything I need to know. It says 20 packets transmitted, 20 packets received, zero packet loss. Now that's the packet loss. So if I send in a packet, four packets, right? And only get two back, that means I have 50% packet loss. That's really bad. Now these trace routes, I really don't know what all this is, but I know it's really important and things like that. Um, so this, if you have internet problems like me, you guys need to get this because it'll tell you exactly what's the issue here. Um, so let's go to help tours while we're here. Look, so I'm gonna show you guys. Blah, blah, blah. See, bam, it's gonna hit you with everything you need to know. You know, um, blah, 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 preventing members from the house causing lag. Um, network monitor shows you whose host you've been on um, or how much you've been using. So let's go back to congestion control, device prioritization, right? We click this, where do I go? Where is it? I think it's host filtering. Actually, no, 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 I don't think it's this. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so I put my download and upload all the way up, right? This, I can make it, this is one of the cool things. I can make it so my PC takes more bandwidth, right? Let's go to 90, and then my Xbox One only takes 10. You don't really need your Xbox One to get that much, right? You only need less than two download, or a, a little over 1.5 download, and um, only like over a 0.5 upload to have a gaming experience, online gaming. As long as it's consistent, you won't have an issue really. Um, so if I'm streaming and things like that, uploading, I can make it to 90 and take my PC to take more. So there's no spikes and things like that in my streaming, no frames dropped, which I've been doing um, a lot. This is what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and the, another thing with the NetDuma router is the, the upgrade. So anything that we need to know, if you have anything that you have an idea of that you want on your router, you can submit it in the forum and they will literally just send an online upgrade and update to the router and it'll have that feature. So remember that feature I was telling you guys about earlier where you can literally block out hosts. Um, some people might use abuse that uh, power, right? They might just block hosts just because, you know, they don't want to play on it, even if it's a fair connection. Uh, NetDuma can actually take off that feature if it get, becomes a problem in esports. So I like how these guys are really um, trying to work with esports, really working with Call of Duty. And um, that's why I'm really I was really excited to bring this up to you guys because I've had so many routers. I've had so many host booters. You know, I've been through it all. And this is the only router that I've ever had and that has everything I need in a router, okay, for gaming, esports. I don't need my wireless signal to be stronger. You know, that's what the Nighthawk is. It's basically, if you live in a big house and you don't play on wired. I play on wired connection because I'm a competitive player. I'm pretty sure you guys play on wired connections too. And if you play on wireless, this router also has wireless. You know, um, I just think people are spending a lot of money on the Nighthawk and they're not really realizing that, you know, they're, they're really not buying anything. You know, it's these features that you want in the router. You know, you want to be able to... Uh, put as much bandwidth on your Xbox One. You want to be able to connect to whoever you want um, if you're a, a pub player and things like that. And this is the coolest feature, I think. Um, there's obviously more features, but this is just a quick rundown. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are interested in buying the product, make sure to tweet me if you have any questions. Um, and if you just 
already want to buy it, you can use my code Fizzer for a 5% discount. You guys get a discount and that discount uh, helps me out. Uh, so it's a win-win situation. You pretty much save on shipping. The shipping does take about uh, six to eight days because this is a European-based company. It's not, you know, nothing to be worried about. A lot of people already bought this. Uh, it does take some time to ship to you. They're, um, they ship everywhere though, Africa, uh, just, you know, it's international as long as it's not, you know, somewhere out there randomly, you know, in a random part. Um, if you're like in a city and things like that, they'll send it anywhere. No problems. Um, give you a tracking number. They also always have support on um, forums and things like that. And, you know, this is, I'm really proud of this company. And, you know, I really think that they're going to help esports the way it needs to be helped. So anyways, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Use code Fizzer for 5% discount. If you guys have any questions, make sure to tweet me at Fizzer. And that's that. Everyone have a good one.